actually engage agriculture and IT sectors. I think um, it, it has, uh, to a large extent, um, brought a lot of the software technology to agriculture. And one of the things that we see coming out of it is that we have a lot more uh, you know, persons who are actually looking at the potential of um, you know, business ideas using ICT in agriculture. Well, but I know uh, a key thing is uh, we have to make agriculture sexy again, right? And uh, what I think the Agrican project has done is really made agriculture sexy with technology. Um, as you know, some of you may know, me and Jared took part in the Action Hack competition, which was, you know, agriculture, business, and ICT. And what, what that taught us and what, you know, Agrinet, the, the, the potential for Agrinet is that you know, we have all this data being gathered. Um, how can we use it? How, how can this be profitable to potential investors? Um, what what about agriculture? It, it, it's data. Can be business oriented. Well, uh, a lot of our being able to make uh, to be successful in any endeavor is, of course, to actually be able to make a sound evidence based decision, right? Uh, then DEFCO has actually collected uh, quite a quite a sort of uh, marked volume of price price data over over the years, like starting at from like 2008 onwards. Um, let's say, for example, you're you're a farmer and you want to know, okay, what what month would probably be the month that I would probably get the best yield for a particular crop that I specialize in, um, or probably say you're a policymaker trying to um, trying to make like price predictions for um, various economic policies or exactly when you can help farm certain farmers um, who farm particular crops. Um, it's vital to know to have some idea as to what the prices would be. So some of the things we've been doing with the Agrinet project has been to try to data mine the, the large ball of data being collected by Namgevco to make uh, predictions of price. For mm -hmm. example, one one of the crops we looked particular was on lime and the results like we had really really marked um, you know, seasonal, seasonal variations in lines and we could actually predict with some degree of accuracy what line prices would be like several months on the line. It was on the market watcher project and what it does is basically um, as farmers keep track of the latest prices of our crop. So now they've got a lot of data that they posted almost daily about what the new price of our crop was in the market. So we use that data and present it to the farmers so they could better, they could keep a tab of how the prices are and what they're going to do with it. And we had some features where we could like give them notifications where they, when the prices change versus a range. And we also did some work on um, creating the framework for the future using the predictions and some I'm talking about within the system. Well, one of the questions from industry that arose was, um during this project was really, okay, so we have a lot of geospatial data from Navigate from various ministries, from the metal, metal office, for example, and how can this data be of use to the farmers? How, what, what in this data could be used really for the farmers to, 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 to learn something about their farms or perhaps some sort of area? And the AgriMaps project was, is a, I guess, a great share of this. Um, what, it, what it seeks to do is to really give farmers an idea of what exactly Give, give them some information about the land they're planting give them some information about, about a potential piece of land which they can plant on. And the Agrimax project gives them information such as the pH of the soil, the content of the soil. And it really seeks to give farmers uh, an, informational, an informational advantage with regards to what, what they could do with a piece of land and how best can they um, maximize output from a piece of land. Mm -hmm.